माय चेयरमैन ऑलवेज यूज टू से मिस्टर अनिल अग्रवाल की अगर सपने नहीं देखोगे तो पूरे कैसे होंगे एनी एडवाइस दैट यू वुड लाइक टू गिव फॉर वुमेन हु वांट टू परस्यू देयर करियर इन दिस स्पेस सो आई विल से इट इज नॉट जेंडर व्हिच इज गोइंग टू टेल व्हेदर यू कैन बी इन टेक्नोलॉजी और नॉट द डोर्स विल ऑलवेज बी क्लोज अंटिल अनलेस इदर यू आर नॉकिंग इट and in case even if you are knocking it it is not opening there are multiple alternate ways to open the doors technology is something which is the future be a part of it hello and welcome to cio news i am khushbu soni the founder and chief editor at cio news this is a recorded session and will be available on our website that is cionews.co.in and our cio news linkedin handle so this is a series where we interact with uh, wonderful women in the tech industries and today i have nilima sharma the chief digital officer at esl Nilima has more than 16 years of experience and is passionate to learn new things and is already committed to create an innovative and digital ecosystem and culture for the company that she's been working with. She's a very result driven professional in collaborating with cultural diverse multi geographical teams and multiple vendors formulating a digital strategy and leading digital transformation for manufacturing companies. Uh, Nilima, thank you so much once again for taking our time, joining us today on this episode, and we're really looking forward to learn and understand from your journey. Thank you so much, Kushbu, and uh, really thank you so much for this opportunity as well. Wonderful. Ah, uh, so to begin with, Nilima, I wanted to put across my first question. If you can share a little bit about, you know, what is that you do? Ah, uh, what does a typical day look like? That would be a good starter. Uh, being the CEO of the company, my actual role goes with creating a culture of digital mindset across the plant, across my organization, and uh, the role also includes having a collaboration between people, process, and technology, so that we all come together achieving our business goals. So that's how it all about being the CEO. But on top of that, I am also a mother of two. so my day starts right from 5 am in the morning and goes till 12 night sometimes it is one or two of course based on situation as well so right from the morning starting up ensuring my both the kids and husband are on time reaching their destination school and office with having all the resources in place so that they really have a good day and i make sure to do that specifically for the little one who is just 7 and on top of it getting ready for self then joining my team in the morning on time we start our day with a morning meeting having certain themes around what we are going to discuss we of course start reviewing whatever we have planned for today whatever we thought of doing and where we are accordingly and suddenly there are certain themes which we try to follow some days we discuss about what are new things which are coming up how my project is going on some day it is more around talking about how business partners are doing and you know interacting with them uh, we do have sessions we which we organize with our on ground business champions who are actually working on field in a manufacturing setup because until unless we are collaborated with them things will not go right and sometimes i really give my team a day to recharge having fun doing nothing for the day because until unless you are recharging things will not go well so this is how we do different different things during the week so that every day we have something new to do and there is a motivation to excel lovely i mean when you said you get up at 5 in the morning and go up till 12 and sometimes it's late how do you do it it's it's so much but hats off i have been interacting with a lot of women in this series and this is one of my favorite question because it gets to know you know how women are really trying to put in efforts to fulfill their dreams in all aspects so it's very lovely to hear this uh, nilima wanted to understand did you always knew that you wanted to be in the technology space and uh, work in this domain specifically so the fair answer is no okay. because just like any normal kid you know it was like sometimes i wanted to become a doctor sometimes it was engineer things were going here and there but gradually uh, i really developed an interest towards mathematics followed by you know technology was always inspiring me 
as i mentioned i really do to things when things which are changing i get bored doing the same thing so technology was one of the field which really inspired me to do different different things and my father used to say love whatever you do and you have to be a differentiator in wherever you feel or whichever field you are choosing so i really found that uh, having different different things the ever changing space in terms of technology was something which is really going to give me excel my life and learn multiple things being a lifelong learner so i just opted for technology and here i am today wonderful diva i want to understand from you do you see a gap a shortfall of women in this industry you know in this domain have you felt that there has been their gender has affected the way you know it is being perceived or treated have you been in an in situation like that how did you handle it yeah that is noticeable across you know even the data speaks about it hardly if you see globally it is 30% only where in women are perceiving towards technology if you will really see people in higher position even that will reduce up to 12 13% that's how the data speaks about women in technology and uh, over the period of uh, my journey as well the same has been seen right from the classes to again moving towards the industry that to in a manufacturing setup it keeps on getting very limited when i see that uh, having said that you know i just got a opportunity to be a part of idc dx summit few days back only and let me tell you there were 100 people and only four women who are actually leading in different different location on top of it when there was opportunity to be rewarded as the future cdo of india so i was the only one to get it so that is the percentage which you will keep on seeing in life it is slightly demoting but uh, i'm really happy that uh, the numbers are progressing the number is increasing and i really look forward it will increase more in future so you okay absolutely okay uh, maybe you can tell us your support models that have supported you to lead and get you where you are today so i uh, would like to say you that uh, work culture is very very important and uh, i'll give all the credit to my current organization which is vedanta vedanta really gives you a lot of opportunity they never bias in terms of being a female and they will always give you a good track record if you are really passionate enough to do something about it my chairman always used to say mr anil agrawal ki agar sapne nahi dekhoge to poore kaise honge so he has been always motivating giving this things there are multiple programs where, where females are being appreciated coming forward taking up the cxo roles and that's how i have excelled i specifically like to mention my current management as well who are having the same mindset promoting not only females in fact digital in terms of organization both are the new concept taking it up very very positively trusting on me giving the opportunity has been exceptional mr ashish gupta he is the ceo of the company mr anand dubey is the cfo of the company mr ravish sharma who is the chief operating officer of the company even being males i have really seen them supporting me like anything in this journey and taking digital as well as organization to a next level lovely it says right your uh, if you have a strong leader i think working with that leadership really helps you excel nilma if you can tell us uh, your best part of being in this space and for any women to be in the tech industry so um, again there is a law of supply and demand so in case if you are really less in number your importance will always be more okay. that is what i have seen and personally experienced in my life so in case if you are really passionate about what you are doing you have all those skills which is expected as as part of you you are certainly going to excel and you will always get an extra advantage being a women in technology see it is always said that gender bias decision but i also do say people see women in technology they are being now appreciated differently specifically while getting the reward i have seen multiple times people specifically mentioning she, she is the only women she is the only women so that also really motivates and uh, that is how i see to it any advice that you would like to give for women uh, who want to pursue their career in this space so i'll say it is not gender which is going to tell whether you can be in technology or not if you are really passionate about it please please come forward and uh, on top of it the doors will always be closed until unless either you are knocking it 
and in case even if you are knocking it it is not opening there are multiple alternate ways to open the doors yeah. it is going to be incredibly rewarding for you in terms of technology because um, i am really experiencing it i do have certain role models uh, also who helped me to be here where i am so maybe come forward enjoy this journey and trust me with my experience i'm pretty sure you are going to love it technology is something which is the future be a part of it simply absolutely great uh, great conversation with you nilma thank you so much for taking out time coming on this platform and um, sharing your uh, experience with us and lovely to hear about your journey all the very best to you thank you thank you so much kushpu thank Same. you so much